We'll guide you through how to delete photos from your iPhone, but keep them on iCloud. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, you need to close out of the Photos app and you'll need to go and open up your settings. Scroll to the top of your settings and go and click on your name, and this will take you to your Apple ID and iCloud settings, and then scroll down and go and click on iCloud. On iCloud, you then want to go into this section called Apps Using iCloud and go and click on Photos. So what we need to do is go and stop iCloud syncing with our iPhone, because at the moment, as soon as we delete a photo from our iPhone, it will also delete from iCloud. So what you want to do is switch off sync this iPhone, and it then says, do you want to download a copy of your iCloud photos to this iPhone? And you've got the option to remove from iPhone or download photos and videos. So in this case, you want to download them. So click there. And then as you can see, it's now started the download process. So at the moment, it's downloading 32 originals. So all you now need to do is wait for the download process to go and finish. They've now finished downloading. And if I come back to my settings, as you can see, the status is now synced. So then what you want to do is turn off, sync this iPhone again, like so, and then it will go and stop it. So just go and wait a moment for it to finish. And now what you can do is go into your photos and you can now go and delete the photos from your phone without deleting them from iCloud. Let's say I wanted to delete these photos. I'll click on select in the top right. I'll select them and click on the trash can icon. And it then says these photos will be deleted from the library. Whereas if you go and have the settings synced and your iCloud synced as well, when you try and delete photos, it will say these photos will be deleted from iCloud photos on all your devices. But when it's switched off, they're just going to be deleted from your iPhone itself and not iCloud. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.